Hello world. I was going to make a little video today because um, I've had a few questions about creating screenshots or icons or things like that. So I thought I'd go through my little workflow. Uh, so I use Pixelmator Pro. Uh, it's pretty good. And I'll have a link in the description to the app store. Um, but if you create a new document here and you can see they have app screenshot templates. Like if you go over here and you got uh, they have app store category and you can just kind of look through all these options and they got some good ones but let's say we pick one just pick this one and you get the size is 1284 by 2778 that's that one if you go this one it's tells you the size there problem is if you go here what was the size it's uh 20 1284 by 1227 Anyway, you go here and you look at all these options, they don't match. So you're going to get an error if you try to upload that template. So this is what I do. Um, and by the way, Apple bought and owns Pixelmator Pro now. So maybe they should put out an update uh, and maybe give a few more templates. I don't see Apple Watch here or Vision Pro or whatever other platforms they have. Anywho, so I don't actually create from here. I go... You know, just create a new one, and what is it? Uh, we'll go like 1290 by 12, uh, 2796. So back to Pixelmator Pro. Oh, and I've already got it set. So 1290, there you go. So create that. And then we have this nice document here. And then I will go ahead and command in, and then I'll go, you know, over to my app store screenshot one, pick one that I think could be useful. And I just copy that or not copy sorry i go create and then if you want the background like a little gradient background you maybe pick that um but if you just want the phone and the i mean i'll copy all of it so i'll just grab all these copy them and then paste them in my proper size file and then i can just kind of position them like that and uh i can turn off the background And where's the background on the iPhone? I've done this before. Anyway, maybe it's under the shadows. Yep. So turn off all that, and then you can turn on and make your own background if you want. Like, I can select the background here and go fill and make it, you know, whatever color you want. Or we can just turn that off, pop on background here again, and pop on shadows and stuff like that. Also, if I turn that off. Yep. Also, the shadows work if you change background color and and so forth and of course you can change the shadows by opening this up and you've got different shadow options so that's pretty nice i'm gonna go with the basic background for now uh, and then what you need to do here with the iphone or ipad or whatever device you picked selected you go under media placeholder and this is where we go over to xcode and actually we go over to simulator and let's say you've got your app here, you just go Command S, and then you just right click or option click, however you, I do a two finger click on my MacBook Air. And then you just go to, where is it? Yeah, my screen's right there. Save to clipboard is actually right there. Sorry about that. Um, so save, copy to clipboard. Um, then we can go Command period and stop, stop that from running. Go back to Pixelmator. I didn't even go full size with this. Um, and then when we go here, we can go replace photo, replace from file. Oh, replace from clipboard. I was like, I swear it's here. So you got replace from clipboard. Of course, you could save these to desktop or photos or wherever you want and replace from any of these options. We do that. And there you go. Now you just got to type up some header. And if you type up your headers in a different program or you ask ChatGPT to write you up a bunch of headers, um, when you go in here, just, you know, under edit, go, and I'm sorry if the camera's wiggly, my table is not on, it's not a level floor. <laughs> um, edit, edit and paste, paste and match style. So that will work there. And of course you can go under the text option and tweak things if you like as well 
Um, but then you're like, oh, this says 10.09, that's not good. Because we all know that screenshots should be 9.41 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, Pixelmator's got a fix for that. You just go status bar, and you're like, whoa, that is ugly. You zoom in here, and it doesn't look good. So we go white fill, and then you're like, ah, it still doesn't look good because it's just overlaying on top of what I got. So you can turn on the background, and now you got this white chunk which doesn't match with our dark, you know, uh, dark mode. Um, and we could do everything in light mode, but that would be boring. We want to mix it up a bit. But we can just select our background, and I grab the picker, and I just pick whatever color our app is. And that didn't work. Black fill. There we go. Maybe I just had to do that. Oh, I gotta fill that background. Anyway, just do that, and that works. Um, but an, another thing you might have is you might have an app that has like, uh, like an image or like a gradient background or something that doesn't. It's not gonna work with just like a strip of solid color. And I've done that before with. It's gonna be simple to show here, but if I turn off the background, and so you see this got this nasty overlay. We'll go ahead and disable status. What I do, and this may or may not work all the time, make sure your media placeholder is selected. Pick this little heel tool, tool or whatever it is. And then you can come over here and then just kind of be a little more careful if you want. And then you can kind of take out the background. And again, you might have to come in here and do it a little more carefully, depending on how complex your background is. This is obviously super basic. Um, and then when you uh, turn on status bar, you don't have to turn a background on because you just got rid of the old numbers. Um, so anyway, zoom back out. And there's your screenshot. And of course, you can command in and go ahead and grab a bunch of other templates and mix and match and have a fun time and hopefully that gets you started getting screenshots that look i mean pretty standardized but again you can have fun you can you know disable this and enable this and go crazy with backgrounds or set images or you know grab your grab your iphone make sure you grab your iphone and not something inside here because then it'll just drag the image out placeholder out of there and look ugly Grab your iPhone. Come on. Grab your iPhone. Gotta be in the right tab. Uh, and then you can drag it around or, you know, rotate it and do crazy things like that and be like, look, that's amazing. So, hopefully that's a lot of fun. Um, put that back to zero. You can uh, align things here, make it really nice. Go like that. So, Hopefully that's helpful. Um, gives you a few little ideas on how you can kind of quickly put together App Store screenshots. I'm going to stop rambling now and uh, go back to making apps after I find the stop button.